Hello, I'm Wolfgang Kandig, CTO at Qualys. I'm here to talk to you about some of the new research that we've uh, just published. It's specifically focused on the Java programming language. Um, if you followed the recent news, you've seen that many of the modern exploits uh, use Java to get as a, as a first stepping stone to get into the system. Um, that was quite common on the PC uh, under Windows and just recently we've seen that uh, Macintosh computers on the Mac OS X are also affected. Um, talk is of a botnet for the um, flash fake Trojan that is about 600,000 machines and we're not even sure yet whether it has been reduced even though the patch has come out. Uh, so, um, related to that, our research indicates that many of the pen testing activities actually focus on Java vulnerabilities to get to your systems and um, we're suggesting that you just turn that off and get more value from your pen testers rather than paying them and then taking the easiest way in which is usually setting up a fake website, sending your employees an email, making them click on a link in that email and then uh, running a Java app that, that gives them access to your system, we say this is a, such an easy thing to fix by, uh, well, there's actually a number of things you could do. If you don't need Java, just uninstall it. Um, now, we know that that's not realistic in all scenarios, but uh, under Internet Explorer, under Windows, there's a very nice mechanism of actually whitelisting Java. So you can prohibit Java to run in the internet zone and you can enable it to run in the trusted sites. And the idea there then is no Java in general and whitelist the few sites that need it and the intranet sites that need it. That way um, you get a very nice uh, alert, something wants to run Java, it is controllable from the IT department through group policies and in general I think the recommended solution. That only works on the Internet Explorer, but the other browsers have uh, their own ways of dealing with Java. You know, Google Chrome asks the user whether he or she wants to run the Java plugin and whether he or she wants to uh, whitelist the site that's currently requesting it. That is a user-driven effort, so it's slightly less manageable than uh, the group policy mechanism that Internet Explorer offers. Firefox recently blocked all older versions of Java, so at least make sure that you have the latest version of Java installed. And um, Apple, in the wake of the, of the Flash uh, fake uh, botnet, has come out with a new Java version that actually deactivates itself after 35 days of uh, it not being in use. Um, Apple, again, doing things differently, uh, just after um, the Mac OS, the new Mac OS X having the gatekeeper announcement where only App Store applications and signed applications will be installed. Again, something kind of, I think, different. I don't want to call it revolutionary, but it's a really interesting um, attempt to make the whole computer safer. I really like it. The computer kind of auto-tuning itself to, uh, to avoid uh, insecure configurations. I don't think it's the last word yet. We'll still have to figure out how well it will be accepted and how practical it is, but I think um, great effort from Apple on this side, on the security side. Um, so just to resume, you should look uh, at Java. It is an exposure. If you do a pen test, it's probably the same thing that people will uh, immediately attack. Rather easy to fix. Uh, just take a look how you can disable Java in the internet zone and how you can whitelist it.